Hey guys, it's Sandy Missouri from Balloon Utopia and Market with Balloons. I'm here today with my friend Darren Sari, who is going to show you how to make these adorable giraffes. Oh my god, this thing is so cute. I just want to kiss it. I just want to kiss it and hug it and love it and squeeze it. Thanks, Sandy. So we have three different versions here, and you'll see uh, one's a hat. One is uh, made, the legs are made out of the same balloons if you didn't want to use an extra balloon. But if you want to make the neck extra long and you want to use an extra balloon, you can. So the different versions are right here. There you go. All right, so I'm going to teach you how to make this giraffe. Uh, we're going to make the hat version, and then uh, you can make the body version as well. But what I'm going to do is um, you need three balloons, and then or three 260s, and then uh, two rounds. And I love how I do these eyes. These are googly eyes. I actually learned this from Cody Williams on his channel. And uh, I'm going to show you the googly eyes last. So we're going to take the balloon. Let's set it right there. All right, and then for the neck and the hat base, you want to make sure you have two balloons that are blown up the same amount, brown and yellow. You can make the giraffe any color you like, but I like brown and yellow, so make sure people know it's a giraffe. So you're going to take the two balloons, same length, you're going to twist them like this, lock one bubble around, so make sure the balloons don't come apart when the kids untwist it. And what I like to do is really uh, squeeze and stretch the balloons, get them as long as you can. And then um, measure ahead, however you measure your head. What I do, I kind of do it a quick, efficient way where I take my uh, two bubbles, put them in my palm, and then go down to my elbow, and that's usually a good uh, width for a head, even if uh, I take my hat off. So just like that, so. Take it like this, twist it, put the hat back on, there you go, and then Take it like this, and then you're going to do two pinch twists at the same time. So you take two bubbles, fold them both over, do your two pinch twists. And now we're going to do the spiral for the net. And I spiral this way where I bring the balloons around and I kind of toss them over in my hand. Um, another way to spiral is to put four fingers on one side and the thumb and then twist the balloon and guide it up with your hand. So you got to learn that spiral. I really like to do a tight spiral. There we go. And the tricky part of this balloon is uh, making sure that these still come out even. You see the tails. This one's a little bit longer, but they're pretty close. So then what you do is uh, twist these to the end like this. Twist them around a few times so they stay. They only need to stay for a second because you can put this under your arm, and we're going to make the head for the draft. So you take your other balloon. It's blown up about six fingers. Not too much. This is going to have a lot of twist in it. So we make a start with a pinch twist. And then you do a loop twist, just about that big. And then you're going to do about a four finger bubble. And then you're going to do two ears, so the two ears on the back of the giraffe's head. Do them about four finger for the ears. Make sure they're the same size, just like that. And you're going to bring this bubble back down to this side, and it's going to mirror, so the two of these bubbles the same exact size. And now this is the front of the mouth, right there for the giraffe. That's no way of this. And then what we're going to do is bring this over to the top. And instead of making it the same size right there, we're going to make it a little bit longer. So then it's kind of like a little bump right there. And then the eyes are going to go through here, just like that. So we're going to take this part we twisted it and wrap it into these ears. There we go. Wrap it in a good enough time. We're going to break this piece off, just like that. And then what we're going to do is take these ears and wrap them in to these antlers. So we're going to take these two loops and these two antlers. And the best way to wrap them in instead of trying to like wrestle with it is to take these two bubbles and these two bubbles, put them, put the, put the twisted parts close enough together as possible. And then if you have uh, big hands like me, it's easy. But if your hands are a little smaller, you might have to wrestle a little bit. You take all four of these bubbles and you can twist them together. And then you just have to adjust the head and adjust the ear, and adjust the antlers. And then here comes the fun part. We're going to make the antlers like this. Blow the air into the balloon. If you don't know how to do this, this is a whole other uh, tutorial I could go on. But what you're doing is you're pulling the air out and just pushing it back in. And you're squeezing it down to make it go up like that. 
but uh, I'm sure there's a tutorial for it online. I think it's on Cody's channel again. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna make the eyes for the giraffe. And we, what I like to do is make sure this is big enough for eyes to go through, but take the white balloon first, because we're gonna make the googly eyes, like the giraffe's eyes are really popping out at you. So you don't have to draw them. Those are also my favorite eyes because I don't like to draw eyes very much. They usually come out all wonky and they're not a perfect circle. So uh, we're gonna blow up the balloon. There we go, we're gonna blow up this one. Uh, just about, like, a little bit smaller than a baseball. Just like, palm your hand, um, and then tie it. Make sure you hold on to it. Oh. And then we grab it right here, and we're gonna twist it in half. Then we're gonna grab the black balloon. So what I do is, uh, this is a technique, and I do this so often, I do it without even thinking about it. So I, I forget. So here we go, we twist it in half. And uh, it might be a little bit hard to twist in half. You gotta really get that balance of each side of the balloon back and forth. Then what you're gonna do is grab it in the middle and not let it go because you're gonna have to blow up the black one next. So a technique that I do is that I hold it in the middle and then I put it in my fingers right here. So uh, I put it in my fingers right here and it's locked in there. So it's not gonna come undone. I still have use with the rest of my hand. So we're gonna blow up the uh, black one. And then what I, to get a good ratio of pupils to the whites of the eyes, uh, make the black balloon as big as one of the whites. So like not both, but just as big as one like that. So you see how they're the same size right there? And then what we're gonna do is uh, tie the black balloon on. And then we're gonna twist it in half like this. You twist the black balloon in half, twist the white balloon in half, which these are five inch rounds, by the way, I didn't say that earlier. Five inch rounds, white five inch round, black five inch round. And uh, then what we're gonna do is take the centers, and twist around just like you would with two duplets into a quad. So you have like a miniature quad right there. For you decorators. So uh, we're gonna take it like this, and we're gonna take these googly eyes, and what's fun, if you're entertaining some kids, you can uh, put it onto the bridge of your nose, and they actually, it usually stays, here we go. Ah, and your googly eyes on your face. <laughs> uh, and then we're going to take these and we're going to put them through the, the head of the giraffe. Right Just like that. Force them through. Uh, you got to get that ratio down of um, how big the hole to the eye sockets and the eyes. Because if the eye socket is too small and the eyes are too big, it could pop. So you got to really get that ratio down. I've made this balloon thousands of times. So here we go. We have the giraffe. And now if you get his ears flat and his antlers up and his eyes right there, there's a giraffe and then you can put it on and it makes you about two foot and a half taller. There you go guys, hope you enjoy this balloon. Um, don't forget to smash that like button, comment below um, your favorite animal and um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I uh, really appreciate it. Thanks you guys, have a great day. Thank you guys for following along this tutorial and if you guys want to see more of me, you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Um, my username is sorry not sorry. My last name is sorry s a a r i n o t s o r r y, and you can see more of my stuff on there, as well as I have a website where I sell these shirts. Uh, so really cool, uh, 3D balloon shirts, uh, 3D dog, and I have a bunch of other really great designs. You guys should check it out. It's twistballoons.com, and twist is spelled with two eyes. T w i i s t balloons.com. And as always, go forth and balloonify.